Okay, here's deck to halls. Right hand starts in C position, so C, D, E, F, G. This is middle C. Left hand's going to start in low C position, C, D, E, F, G. I'm going to play it once, and then I'm going to go over it bar by bar. Let's take a listen. Okay, so the first bar starts off with the right hand on G, and I'm going to go through the right hand notes first. So we're going to go G, F, E, D, C, D, E, C. The first note is a dotted quarter note. You probably haven't learned that yet, but we hold that for a beat and a half. And the second note is an eighth note. You haven't learned that either. That's just a quick note. Excuse me, a quick note. So we're going to play long, short, normal, 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 normal. So make sure you hold that first one. Long, short, and then the rest of them just get a beat. The left hand we're playing a C chord. We're playing C, E, and G at the same time. And we'll just do it like that. We're going to be playing that with the first note. And the C here. And that's the end of the first bar. That simple. Now let's look at the second bar. We're going to be playing D, E, F, D, E. And it's a bunch of eighth notes this time, so we got to play those faster. And we start off by playing an F in the left hand, and then we finish it with a G. So watch. D, E, F, D, E, and G together. Then D, C, and G together, cross over to B. And then C and E and C together in the left hand. So that's the second bar. Let me do it one more time. So right hand's playing D, left hand's playing F together. D and F, E, F, D, E, and G. Right hand, D, and then C and G together, B, and then C, E, and C together, all right? Now from here, the next two bars, well, I should say the next bar and a measure is repeating. So this is just like the beginning. Okay, so that's all repeating. Now we're on the second bar, second measure, and we're just going to move our right hand up one note to D. And leave your left hand where it is. And we're going to play D and G together. E, F, D, and then E and C together. F, G, D. And that ends the second bar on the second page. Now, the third bar, we're actually going to be doing some crossing under. So watch closely. We're going to start and play E, and we're going to play F sharp. So this is F. F sharp is the black key to the right of it. So we're going to play E, F sharp, and we're going to cross our thumb underneath to G, right there, and then A, B, C, and now the right hand is going to play B, A, G, and the left hand is going to play D, F sharp, so there's F again, F sharp, G. So let's watch how we put these together, so B and D, A and F sharp, and then G and G together. Now this next part is repeating again. Your thumb just finished here on G, so I want you to move your pinky now back to G, like that. And we're going to play repeating. Okay, so we already know how to do that. And then the last two measures, we're starting, we're going to take our fifth finger, we're going to move it up one key to A, okay? Leave your left hand here and starting on F, we're going to be playing A and F together, we're going to play A four times. And then G and E, right hand plays F, then E and G together. D and F together, and you're going to cross over with your pointer finger to C, and E and C in the left hand. Okay, so I'm going to do that one more time. Alright, so hopefully that gives you enough information to get it rolling, and then if you have any more questions, we'll address those in class. Alright, good luck.